Hello guys, yes another repair video, but this time it's a car stereo radio whatever. Has no brand name on it. Only has this gorgeous text which states 4x50 watts. Oh yeah. Pure BS by the way. Anyway. Complaint. Has no sound. Everything else seems to work just fine. Encoder works. Knobs react. But no sound. And actually, the guy said, can you repair this because I don't have... It's kinda boring in my truck. Huh. Truck. And that truck... I know for sure that that is 24 volt truck. Now let's take a look at this. It's a statement. Power supply DC 12 to 15 volt. Huh. Interesting. So more, most likely output I see is dead. Because by connecting a few speaker wires like these two or any other two, I have nothing. Not even a hum, not even a hiss, nothing. So, let's take it apart. And inside, you probably would see that here, on this empty place, supposedly the output I see should be. But, I took it out. Most likely, it is the root of the problem. Here is that I see. I clipped it out because it has, it is pain the ass to remove. You may be able to see that it states CD7377, which is nothing else than some knockoff of TDI7377, which I bought. Here. Can you see? And I'm gonna put it in and power it up using my lab power supply and limit current to around 1 amp so I ain't gonna blow anything else. Alright, now since I think that this thing had been powered by 24 volts. I will check these electrolytes as well, because this one looks, again, a little bit suspicious. Because plastic is kind of shrunk. Maybe leaky. Because it had high voltage across it and developed some leakage now. So I'm probably gonna replace it as well. Anyway, so I'm gonna take this cover back. Take this cover out. Put in IC, demonstrate that it's working on some on a radio mode. Then I'm gonna get my USB flash drive, put it here, and run a song, very nice song. It's called One Kilohertz Sine Wave. I'm gonna be using my scope to measure true output power into 4.1 ohm load. Yeah. So, a new IC is in place, and 16 more speaker for the test. As you can hear, sound is there. My papa turned on talk radio to prevent any copyright issues, so yeah, now I'm gonna show you the solder job, then you will see me measuring output power of this third. And soldering job, as I promised, not the best in the world, but certainly more than sufficient for a third like this. No flux residue, as you can see. Everything is clean. Now, it's power testing time. It's a power time. Now, i done a few tests of camera, and with 12.6 volts supply, I got around 3.5 watts into on one channel, with a, not bridged. So, if bridged, you would get more than that. But, anyway. Uh, so, right now I set my modified ATX power supply to 14 volts, 
it's about a maximum what uh, this ray, what this stereo will see in a 12 volt car. As load, I'm using these resistors 2.2 ohms in series, 4.4 ohms total. As a load, I'm gonna use test track on an SD card. I'm gonna go and turn it on, and we will, and I will increase volume until it clips. Okay, it clips right here. One click back on encoder, and it is this value. So I'm gonna use that, and it happens to be precisely full scale on my scope, which is six divisions. So three divisions peak. Okay, so we go and plug these values into this so easy equation so we get 3 volts peak and we need to multiply that three, 3 divisions by whatever volts a division your scope are set to in my case that's 2 volts a division so we multiply that by 2 that's 6 volts peak but we need an RMS value, it's peak value so we go and multiply that 6 volts by 0 0.707 now that's an RMS voltage, 4.24 volts. Now we go and square that and divide that by load impedance, which in my case again is 4.4 is ohms. So we go and plug in these values and we get 4.1 watts. So 4.1 watts, 4 channels pushing out 4.4 watts is plenty if you ask me. If you are using quite a nice speakers which are sensitive enough it will be more than enough volume at least that's my uh, that's my opinion there will be more than enough volume but please don't tell me this crap 4 by 50 watts it's not even a 5 watts it's a 4 watts 4 watts clean power at 1 kilohertz sine wave at a supply of 14 volts, which is maximum what this car stereo would see in a 12 volt car, which is operating properly. With the voltage regulator in the car working alright, there would be no more than 13.8 volts. Because that's a maximum voltage that your 12 volt lead acid battery can be charged to. So yeah, 50 watts, total crap. 5 watts, crap. 4 watts, true. So each channel is capable of providing 4 watts, not more, of clean power. Not that clipped stuff with THD of 10%, which sounds horrible. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. See ya.